Having successfully completed your straight line back manoeuvre, you're now going to be invited by the examiner to complete your offset manoeuvre. To give yourself the best opportunity for success, pull all the way up through the boundary line to make sure you have enough room to swing the trailer into the next box. Of course, always be sure that you know where you're starting and where you need to end up. Once you've pulled up right on the boundary line, you need to turn your wheel one turn away from your box. This is going to start to put an angle on the tractor and trailer and start to curl your trailer toward the entry of the box that you need to end up in. As you start reversing, keep an eye on the center cone as you back towards the box. When the center cone and the trailer meet, stop where you are and turn the wheel all the way back toward the box. Gently keep reversing again until the tractor and trailer are now straight. Looking in both mirrors, you should be able to see both of your entry cones down the left and right hand sides of the trailer. Depending on how close you are, you may need to reverse a little bit closer until your trailer starts to enter the box. At this time, it is one of your prime opportunities to get out and use one of your get out and looks to assess the positioning of the trailer in relation to the box. With your trailer at the entry of the box, now start turning the wheel toward the box, which will start to curl your trailer towards the box. And then as the trailer starts to line up with the box, start turning your steering wheel away from the box, which will bring your tractor around and hopefully if you time it right, everything will line up at the same time. Tractor, trailer and box all in line and you continue straight line backing down into the box until the front bumper of your tractor has passed the second cone. As you are curling the trailer and the tractor into the box, if you don't get the timing right, you may miss the moment when the tractor and trailer and box will all be in line. Instead, because you didn't get your tractor around in time, your trailer, tractor and box are going to form a kind of a question mark shape. Unfortunately, you can't keep backing at this time because the side of the trailer or maybe the back corner of the trailer is going to hit the cones that make up the wall of the box. This is, however, an easy fix because all you need to do is steer away from the side the trailer is on and gently pull up, watching for that moment when the tractor, trailer and box are all in line. When this happens, of course, you can now gently straight line back, pushing yourself back into the box. A couple of common mistakes that students make is halfway through the offset maneuver, they don't quite line up with the entry to the box, but instead they're more angled towards a cone on either side. If you're angled towards the center cone between the boxes, what you need to do is steer away from the box and pull up. In this case, pulling up left and right now angles the trailer towards the entry of the box and away from the center cone. If you're aiming for the outer entry cone, the easy way to fix this is start turning the wheel a little bit sooner than what would be normal. This way, you actually start bringing the trailer across sooner and closer towards the entry cone. If you waited, the outer wheel of your trailer as you reversed would clearly hit the wall of the box. As your trailer approaches the entry of the box and you do your get out to assess the relationship between the trailer and the box, one of the things you want to look for is how well placed is your trailer in relation to the entry. That is, how many feet would be between the middle cone and the trailer if you kept reversing and they pulled up side by side. Ultimately, if your trailer is close, you need to turn later because if you turn soon, you're gonna hit that center cone. And if you're a little bit further away, you're gonna to need to turn earlier to bring that trailer closer to the center cone and away from the outer cone. The examiner is gonna randomly choose on the day the side that you need to do the maneuver on. So always practice and be competent at both sides.